<laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be already like you guys. Can't uh, even do this, this is what I do it by myself. Okay. <laughs> What up, what up, everybody? Thanks again for tuning in. This is The Activated Podcast, and uh, I think today we got y'all a little special episode, okay? I have two beautiful ladies in the house with me tonight. Uh, I said tonight in the house. Yeah, we are in the house. Uh, I have Anissa and Sarah with me. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Why y'all look so awkward? Y'all look scared. It's okay. Nobody's around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, thanks again for coming. Me, actually, Sarah, this is the second time being on the podcast. Yes. But this is the first time for you guys listening to it because we, over the holidays, we recorded a long-ass podcast. See, I was thinking, too, as we're, as because the reason why <laughs> you guys didn't get a podcast last week, I was sick. A lot of y'all text me saying, yo, what's up, man? There's a drought. There's no drought. I was dying. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I, w- I really was dying. So what I was thinking, you know what? Because that content w- that we recorded, we didn't talk about nothing specific to climate or whatever. So uh, the next time I got to use a sick day, <laughs> I might let y'all hear the podcast. You know what I mean? But once again, like I said, because it's a new year, I haven't been on here for like three weeks. I was like, nah, I'm going to get y'all some French content because we also live in an era now that every day... Somebody fucks up. <laughs> and uh, we got a lot to discuss today, but Happy New Year's, guys. Happy New Year. <laughs> Sir, you cannot just shake your head. Nobody's going <laughs> I know there's a video, but people are probably going to listen to it on South Cloud. You should say something. But I'm going to let y'all go ahead. Introduce yourself. Just briefly, because you did talk about it in the last joint. Sarah's a teacher, right? Yeah. She loves kids, allegedly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a teacher. <laughs> Why you acting so shy? You talk we for talk, a living. Okay, well, we yeah. talked last time about my discomfort around that title, but yeah, currently I'm. You don't like being at, called a teacher? No, I don't remember. We you know, about, I was kind of drinking that day too. We talked about this earlier. <laughs> Terrible listener. You don't listen to your friends. Okay. Oh, you do you don't, so you don't like the title teacher itself? I don't. I don't. It makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Really? Yeah. Okay, what about you, Anissa? Tell people, would, would you work with kids as well? Yeah, I'm a child and youth worker. There you go. We met at a school. She was doing her practical placement. I was doing a contract. And we're both Serbian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you uh, see, Sarah is my only white friend. Um, and uh, through, hi, thanks. No, no, <laughs> let me explain. And, okay, through, okay. and through her, my white friends are expanding, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because I always felt like there was a little bit of gap. I felt like, because people were like, yo, how come you aren't? But like, my circle is black all the way. Mm -hmm. But uh, not that it matters, but you guys will see them. But. So is ours. Yeah. (laughs) New Year's, right? I was thinking, because you know, what is it with women and New Year memes that you guys love? Why women specifically? Because only. Here's why. Because all the memes. Pertaining to New Year's, it's only been woman. Really? Because here's how it starts. The first meme is New Year, New Me. Okay? Then the next one is I ain't fucking with nobody else. Like, it's, like it starts very happy. Guys, guys do and, that. <laughs> guys do that. But we don't put memes. Yeah, they do. We go don't through it internally. I mean, I don't, I don't watch. Have you Instagram seen a guy post up? You guys watch Instagram, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that. Guys well, do that. Sarah, I, guys let's be, do let's it, be, but let's be clear. You be on Instagram probably more than me and Nisa. I'm be honest with you. you I think you'd you be on there. You, lo- you are on your Instagram at work while you're sitting at your desk I, job. I actually text, don't texting all your friends. I actually mad don't check I, when they don't see? respond to your text messages. Here's another. Let's I don't start, check. Don't start I don't, this. Let's get back to the topic. About these people, okay? <laughs> Let's get back to the topic. <laughs> Which is so angry. Relax. Okay. So you guys didn't answer me. So what's up with women and memes when it comes to New Year? Like, what's what's the idea behind it? I don't know. I don't. I don't post those memes. And to me, December thirty first or January first doesn't feel like New Year's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it's the calendar New Year's, but for me, New Year's is more around springtime, and that is the New Year in like the astrological calendar. And right. farmers also see that as a New Year, and to me, it makes more sense logically. Spring okay. is the start of the new year. Flowers are blooming. So this, I don't really connect to it. So I don't know. I don't post either. Like I'm not into that stuff, but. From what I can see, 
It seems like <laughs> she, she my tried opinion, to detach herself. My opinion, yes, you know, I'm okay. So I think that it's just oh, well because they do feel like it's like you know a new star, like right. you know I'm making a statement. You know, I got to start with the so <clears throat> just to backtrack a little bit. How do you guys feel about the holidays? I know we just jump into the new year, but like, how do you feel around like the the you know between for me personally? I think from the 15, I, I mentally check out like when it comes to work. I'm looking forward to like spending time with just around the 15. Check out. <laughs> <laughs> shot, shot, shot. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to keep taking shots at the, the whole I don't know what you're episode. About. That's cool. <clears throat> but I'm just saying like behind it, like how do you guys feel? Do you even care at all? Do well, you celebrate Christmas or? We don't celebrate Christmas on the 25th. Like um, Catholic Christians and Protestant, yeah, I don't know. Everybody the else, other, but sure. as soon as y'all start looking at each other, you're like, "Whoa!" <laughs> well, every every denomination of Christianity, but Orthodox. Yeah, so. we're Orthodox, so our Christmas is in January. January. Because we go by the old calendar. Yeah, January seventh. <laughs> January seventh, and it has different meaning for us, like okay. culturally. Growing growing up back home, you don't open gifts around Christmas time. It's not as material. Mm-hmm. Um, typically, you would get like. I don't know if this was because of like poverty, but people would get fruit and like nuts was seen as like, like a, um, like a rich gesture, um, okay. nuts, fruits, and chocolate. We typically open presents around new year's time. Um, that's if you do exchange presents now that we're older, we don't really do that. No. Like, so for us, Christmas doesn't really revolve around like gifts and things like that. That being said, yeah, the holidays, <laughs> like, you know. North American holidays, like around Christmas time, it it like angers me. I get angry. Really, I really do. Because you don't look forward to the, the time Christmas off. Season. You're gonna like, get two weeks off from the kids. You're gonna have time to <laughs> spread. I mean, to uh, go ahead, finish on that. I why, get you, angry why do you feel angry? Because of people and humanity and what it's become. Whether it's okay, people are gonna say, you know, it, you're not celebrating the real meaning of Christmas. Right. Whatever that that's true too, but. Let's say people want to do it for the whole, you know, family thing, whatever. But yeah. the the thing that makes me the most angry is everyone just makes it so materialistic. Doesn't matter why you're celebrating it. You guys, are, you know, most people are doing that. And yeah. you're, and then the next day, Boxing Day, you just spent all this, <laughs> oh, family, loving, giving, I appreciate. Okay, right. Let's just go, you know, run people down on the line and spend I, money I do, that I don't I, have. I love Boxing Day because I don't even know why we got to buy a Christmas gift prior to boxing day my but that's G. the whole thing is that 50 like, but like yo if we're not getting married my wife gonna understand this right i'm gonna have a little talk listen babe, a, sorry we're gonna have to wait till the 26th and whatever <laughs> you want it's gonna cost me less it's gonna cost us less because at that point is that just my money is us you know what i mean you see that yeah. i'm thinking ahead but um it's just like uh what's it called uh, valentine yeah me and my ex used to do that actually Oh, because yeah. we were like, why are we going to let this institution make tell us, us spend to, yeah. more money That's smart. and tell us when to celebrate and when to have this time? So yeah. we did like the whole family kind of thing because um, that was his Christmas. And then the next day we would go shop and buy, buy stuff. So growing up, y'all didn't believe in like Santa Claus or nothing like that, no? I mean... For like five seconds. It was not. But <laughs> I mean, like, the Lisa. concept of Santa, I think, like, was there, but it wasn't It wasn't like, prominent how it is. Yeah, it wasn't like, about presents. Like, I don't remember Christmas being about presents. No. And, I, and I do also, like, as I've gotten older, um, I've come to, even for other people from whom it is about presents, I still try to look at the fact that, like, this is a time that people are spending a lot of time with their families. It's also a rough time for a lot of people because right. mm-hmm. if you don't have a family or if your family situation My grandma is passed rough. away, I think, three years ago, the 24th, I think. Mm-hmm. So it's weird. Like, as, as you go, like I said, as you're prepping for that. But I think, I think for me is the looking forward to just spending time with family. Yeah. Like, I think for me, that's what gets me excited. It's not about gifts. It's not yeah. like that. It's just I think the time it's just that, unfortunate that we just do that that time. Yeah, yeah you know? exactly. Like, we should, we should do that more. We make yeah, but some people don't. They ain't got the job to like take days off. Even me, like I, I got, I got a chance to time. go. I went to, I was in Maryland for the time. Uh, Sarah, don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't say anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like as I was there, like Christmas was cool. The day after, like people already, most people went back to work. So you know, so I'm, that's what two days. 
Yeah, yeah, I think they even, they even get less. I don't think they get boxing day as a... But most people would, like, take that day off. But, like, I think by mm-hmm. Wednesday, you back to the rhythm. And I'm, I was yeah. still on vacation. So, thankfully, uh, my cousin also was. So, we I got... You know, I, I really liked it. I liked it this year that I was... I think with my mom not being around, like, because she's back home, it's really, like... In our house, it's just me and my pops. We looking at each other like, bro, I see you every day. (laughs) When we celebrate, he's doing his thing. I'm in, you know what I mean? So I think for me, the idea of bringing families together, I think that is powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Besides the whole, you know, and plus it's the best not to be single because when I was in a relationship, I'd be stressed the fuck out. Because if you don't give a gift, you don't care. That's my point. This is why the holidays bother me. This reflects what we were talking about earlier. About being single. <laughs> no, but listen, this is what? why it bothers me being, being petty. I mean, I stress I'm, too much over little, 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 little things. No, but okay? uh, yeah, but it's easy for you to say when you're in a relationship and there's an expectation there. But why, why? is there expectation? Why do you put that expectation on yourself? No, who puts it? Me? Yeah, I'm who put talking it on to you? you about you December. let that person put it on you. That, no, no, that's but a you okay, problem. but not that's to you no, no, okay, I understand, but not to not to put boo. it on them. But it's really, it's not. It might not even be her per se. It just Society. The pressure is there. Society is there. Y'all so why do you right? allow you stand in your own society to do that, guys? I'm talking strength. to you about three, four. Years. I'm I'm, a, I'm talking about like you three, evolved. four years. Ago. Yeah, I'm not the same. But I'm just saying, like sometimes I remember a time where it's like, damn, I really gotta go spend this money. Why? Like, but whatever. But also, I think the 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 ability to be able to give, like to be able it's to nice. buy somebody's yeah. gift, it does some for me a sense. Because I remember a time where. Yeah, this Christmas is coming and going. We not budget because yeah. we ain't got the money for it, right? Um, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, no, I was just going to say that expectation of, you know, people, like, I have to do my shopping. I have to get, like, who yeah. said what about what? Like, no, who, nobody said that. Yeah, yeah I wonder you know how I mean? do we get to the, I mean, but I guess we could. How do you get to a point where you stand in your own truth? No. How do we as a society got to, to the, the point, point where we're, Consume how do we get to that? Yeah. I mean, I, I know why. I it's mean, by design. Like it's capitalism. 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 It's it's the it's the framework that we live in. It's there for a reason. It feeds a certain entity and takes away from others. And most of society is. But you can't get away people, from it. You know why I say I, that? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Because even back home, yes, you can. right? I've been I, I've been going to Niger for the last two years. This is the only year actually that I stayed in Toronto. So last two years I've been going back for December. And it's really like as much as that society is removed from capitalism, mm-hmm. like capitalism well, finds its yeah, way yeah. into things yeah. where everything becomes about money. Now they might not ask you for a Christmas thing mm-hmm. because it is Muslim country, ninety nine point nine percent. Uh and I think the most hypocrite people in the face of earth. But don't listen to me, but that's just that's just the truth reality. And uh you get there and it's like it's not about Christmas, it's about yo. Let me get this. Let me get this. I want this. I yeah. need mm-hmm. this. And oh, that, what you got? You know what I mean? You got people that barely got something to eat, but they know about Gucci and, yeah. and, but and all these But capitalism brands. feeds on people's ego. Yeah. It feeds on insecurity. So it's taking the some of our most pervasive and our most, like, our weak spots and exacerbating them and, and using them against us. But, and I think the way that you work your way out of the system is, I don't think we can... I don't think we can physically liberate ourselves from the system because it's become such a global right. issue. But I think that like mentally we can, mentally, emotionally, spiritually we can. And we do that by asking ourselves. And I'm not saying, I'm, I'd be hypocrite to say that, you, you know, don't shop or, well, this is going to be a really good segue, don't shop or don't, like, don't buy things. And th- that's hypocritical to say, I think, right. I would feel like a hypocrite to say that. I don't think that that's accessible to a lot of us. But I think it's about understanding why you do what you do and what are the repercussions of what you're doing and are you willing to pay that price. So, for example, um, recently I watched a documentary. It's on Netflix. Everybody should watch it. About the true, It's called The True Cost. And it was about the sweatshops um, in Bangladesh. I think this particular documentary, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. It was a couple months ago that yeah, I watched it. Yeah, I'll do your own research, okay? We can only give you the name, okay? Yeah, Take it's on Netflix. Facts. It's right yeah, there. Yeah. So, But it was... It was um, I mean, we all know these, like I knew this before, but I think putting a face to what's happening in these places and, yeah. and if you're, um, and, and meeting the women that work in these places, the conditions that they work in and, and all these kinds of things really makes you think about like, is this thing that I'm purchasing for five bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks or whatever, 
worth it. And I, I mean, as a believer in energy and energy being transferred through how we treat other people, but also through, through things. Like if a woman is working on my garment and she is depressed and she's angry and she's all these things, those emotions carry through on that. And then I carry that, you know what I mean? And then, and then how do I allow myself to do that? Like human to human to allow this thing to, so that I can wear this thing to allow another person to feel that way, basically. So I feel like, again, it's not, I don't think I'm, I'm not saying write it all off. I don't think that many of us are at that place where we can write off shopping altogether. But I think it is about, really understanding why am I making these purchases and being a little bit more mindful about why we do what we do and maybe trying to make better decisions. Perfect segue to the whole H&M situation. I mean, I was off (laughs) H&M. Damn, you just just go and eat up. Like, you didn't didn't give us no heads up. (laughs) (laughs) See what happened when you hang around me for a couple podcasts, now you're a professional? (laughs) No, I like that. So, I mean, we'll get right into it. Mm -hmm. Uh, me personally, when I look, when I when I saw the picture, and mm. honestly, if you're listening to us right now, you don't know what H and M did. You under you don't live in North America, yeah. probably. But if you are, you will understand. But if not, just do your research. They posted a picture of a young man, a uh, young black male, man, whatever, yeah. um, with a sweater that says "King of the Jungle," coolest no. monkey in the jungle. Oh, to see. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, how much I think it's also important to note that there was a little white boy standing beside him as well and he was wearing another sweat, sweatshirt with another script on it but that was and after they specifically, when they, no but that yeah. was after when they put it but I think on the page it wasn't no, no, but it was for the same they, they ad camp, yeah. it was for the same campaign so, yeah, yeah no it was yeah. it was the same campaign so they could have easily worn different switch yeah. to sweaters but I mean okay because the me, little white me. boy sweater said something like the the king the, the survival survival something sur- something but I mean okay let's let's break this down for me right when I saw that I wasn't offended right maybe I'm disconnected in many ways right <laughs> but I, I, that's the honest truth when I seen it I was like okay what we mad about now and um you know and I and I and I like I'm not angry that they no I shouldn't say that not that I'm not angry but the image in me, it didn't offend me but when you when you think about it like okay this is the only thing I'm angry about is bro y'all really let it go through the fact photo- like I'm trying to think was he wearing that sweater or was that photoshopped on after right cuz it's it like for somebody to sit there have this on right you do the whole photo shoot right you have the creative director and then you, you have go the back you edit the picture yeah. then you make a decision we're going to put it on the website and i'm sure as big as h&m is somebody probably vet through the website okay these pictures will be live tomorrow you go through all of these steps <laughs> and you still and yeah. find a way for it to get there i want first of all i want to know what country these people are living in because i'm sure it's not north the america States. they got to be i don't need i think they the, fo- the photo shoot is I'm it happened sure. in the u.s i'm pretty sure I don't because H and M is so glow. I don't know. Like it's like you know, if you go to China, you see the same logo that you would hear. Just like here, for example, if you go to the Tim Horton, Tim Horton is our franchise owned. Though so even though the name is Tim Horton, but if a franchisee decide not to to put roaches in there, it's not. It doesn't reflect on the whole brand per se. It might reflect of that individual that runs that particular coffee shop. But like I say, initially I wasn't offended, but I was just like, damn it, man! Like I can't. Like how do you even? Say like you know what I mean. H and M is, I I I stopped shopping at H and M not because of this, but uh, Forever Twenty One just cheaper. You know what I mean, <laughs> online you got the T three ninety nine. Talked about the whole cheap thing. There's a reason it's cheaper. Oh really? I thought it's because it goes on sale. Slave shop, <laughs> slave shop. But, but t- g- give me your perspective when you we're gonna start with Sarah when you first saw it or saw what was going on around it. Did you feel anything? Yeah, people are dumb. Like, it's so... (laughs) I think it's like... I think it's that whole idea of... Because I I had... um, Anissa had shared um, uh, a write-up about what the mom had said. Yeah, but that came came out today. Let me me say it. So the child's mom had said, you know, it's... it's, um, She doesn't feel like it's an issue or whatever. That's not... Like, I don't think that that's... That's like um, anything wrong with what she said. Like, do you feel like she's? 
I feel like that's not even a conversation. I feel like the bigger conversation is um, H&M is a huge company and mm-hmm. with huge power like that comes huge responsibility. So yeah. you as a, an entity, as a company, have to be more socially responsible that you don't, you you have the money, you have the, you, you have the people, if you, you have, we have the internet, we have the knowledge, like that type of stuff, like you were saying, like it shouldn't get to a point where it gets public. Where are you even putting that type of a sweater on that child and putting that out? Like advertising that. Like I'm thinking just, that, that you don't think they photoshopped it because all their pictures look nah, the same. Nah, because the, the same mom would have, no? she would have said that. Yeah, she would have said it. She was well aware. aware. She was aware, but I don't even so think like. somebody really fucked up. I, a I lot think it, of people in, in plain English somebody really no really, it's, really it's really not that it's not even that it's that nobody wanted to say anything like I'm sure people were aware they just nobody, they just let it go yeah or yeah yeah they just let it go but I mean uh, um, this is according to my inside sources because right now I got inside sources everywhere <laughs> uh, a friend of mine works for H&M here in Toronto so I, the first thing I, you know, of course, I'm trying to make a joke out of the situation. I was like, yo, so when you quitting, <laughs> you supposed to be real woke. What's up? So when you going to hand in your resignation? Like, you know, obviously that's extreme, but I was just trying to. I don't know. I don't, um, think, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> really? You wouldn't, you wouldn't work. Listen, I boycotted H&M, okay, when I saw the documentary about where their clothes come from. So that's you would you would quit. I mean, it's tough yeah. to say because I, I would. I don't be put homeless. that on everybody. Would you be homeless? No, no, no. no. I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't put that on. I don't put that on everybody. Okay, and that's a really no, no. That's job no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like to being homeless. Okay, there are other jobs. But this out there. person is. This is all they got. Like this okay. is this then, is again, their main not, source. Of I don't income. think that these types of situations. I don't think it's. I don't think it's as easy other as people's that. responsibility to tell other people what to do or how to respond to a situation. Yeah. You have to vet the situation for yourself and see what suits you. Personally, yeah, I would. Damn. Fuck that. Fuck H and M. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the whole quitting thing. So, uh, so when I yeah yeah when that's, I did that's like that's like that's like one of the many issues. Like I, like I said of mm-hmm. the companies like this, right? And also, I'm trying to remember because what else did she t- she so she did tell me. Um, and then we also t- spoke about uh, the weekend going yeah, out yeah, to yeah. say, you know, I'm done which with is that. A, which is crazy. That which That's is, big. But she also, she, she kind of downplayed saying that like, well, his contract was up anyways. So, But you know what artists would typically do if they were going to say something, like to get credit to say something, but then to like not fully be like make a solid statement. Like he might have said something like, oh... Um, until you take this back or until you 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 give like a real apology, yeah. I won't be working with you. Like artists would l- sort of like walk that line, but he made a statement of I'm no longer ever working with yeah, you. Yeah, but again. when you but when Which you're not that. when you're not space, you can't quit. You got money. You're not really yeah, your realities yeah. are different exactly. than the rest of us. But again, not. with more power comes more responsibility, you know. And I would yeah. expect somebody like that to have that type of a type of a. Statement. I forgot the weekend was really, but like I said, she was just saying, "Well, they released his contract and his clothes was trash, anyways." <laughs> and I was like, "So you just are you really gonna throw shades just I didn't because even know he, he throw- was working with them?" Um, yeah, he did a little whatever. <laughs> mm. um, and secondly, and today I heard the G Easy also was like, "Yeah, yeah," I heard, and that he too. was newly signed. So I was like, but wait, wait, wait. So now y'all losing G Easy too? What's happening? <laughs> and he's just on a come up, so he has like yeah, a lot. Yeah, he to, was. You know, he was. Um, he yeah, not. he made a statement saying, you know, I'm not gonna go through. And apparently, like all his clothes are supposed to come out in soon, like spring or whatever. They are made. So like for him saying I'm quitting, I think that has a bigger financial impact on them, especially yeah. because he wasn't like the weekend was on his way out. So whatever. Yeah. But he was like the guy that was prepping to be mm-hmm. next. I'm just, um, I'm really and apparently they even like they 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 brought like district managers to come to the store and read an apology to I've every, seen like three apologies to every <laughs> But it wasn't uh, one of them like I'm sorry that you're offended like yeah, something the lines like, of, like real. we're sorry we they didn't No but these actually genuine. they physically went to the store and apologized to every employee and then they are also offering um counseling and things like that I was like, and I was like damn yo they really <laughs> <laughs> they really, they really. But how you feel about it? you didn't like the apology at all? No, and I didn't. I didn't see it. I had heard on the radio this morning that it was something along the lines of like, "We're sorry, we offended you." So it's not like we fucked up. It was like, "We're sorry, you're offended." But guys, in this sequel, like, there's nothing you say to 
nothing fixes what they did. There's no apology to come up. You see the way that Oprah gave a little speech and all you girls is like, oh, Oprah, y'all, y'all lost your dad. I didn't dad. even watch that too. I'm no? Cool. Yeah, I didn't watch it. So yeah, you got an iPhone 8 for no reason because you don't watch nothing. Definitely not to answer your text messages. <laughs> Shots. <laughs> Shots fired. But, um, so yeah, like after, like I, I don't think there's anything you really say that like makes up for what they did. It can't. I don't think it can make up for it at all, and I don't think that any anything that they could say could be um, could validate the situation or right. make it okay. But I think you can say something a little bit more thoughtful than "I'm sorry, you're offended." But they tried though. I'm sure they have PR. I'm that's, sure that's the that is the best it. they. But like I said, they're in the corner. Just what and then they you say? have some people that think it's a publicity stunt. To because get, why? Would, what how is H and M that? Like, you know, you have that many people. But they are. For you. Like, look at the world today. It's not just H&M. It's fucking everybody. Like, yeah. H&M is just, it's a reflection of where we're at as a society. That these types of things can happen. Like, this is not. And you're not getting away not, with it. Well, <laughs> thankfully, yeah. At exactly. This point, well, so, so as, it, and consumers, what really, are we doing? You know, what, you know, what should we do? That, that's what I'm excited for. I'm excited to see an article that shows the fall in sales. Um after something like this. That's you, what I want to see. You really think I we're really not going go to go to H&M and get that three ninety nine t t-shirt? I don't know. Honestly. Listen, people want to ask, like, what's the solution, you know, for many problems we? in the world. And the, these are the solutions. You boycott. So what should we do? We don't buy no more from H&M. No, you, you vote. In a capitalist society, you yeah. vote with your money. Where you put your money is where you are saying, this is valuable. I want this to continue existing. So I think that, like I said earlier, I'm not saying that we all got to stop shopping across the board, stop buying shit. I don't think we're at at that point. Um, I mean, some of us may be. But I think it's about making conscious decisions about where you put your money and hopefully putting yourself in situations. I know for us, like young adults coming up, we don't always have the option monetarily to say like, okay, I'm not going to buy the hundred dollar shoes because they were made in a sweatshop. I'm going to buy the $600 ones that were ethically, um, ethically made like right. people were paid fair wages. I don't, I might not have that option, but I think it's about working towards being thoughtful, understanding that that option is there, researching, looking for these types of these options and putting yourself in a position where you can make those types of decisions and, 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 and feel, feel good about it and feel like, I feel like that's the answer to changing the world as it is today we we vote with our money like that shit is important i remember saying that when all these condos were going up in toronto and i was saying like you know i want to live somewhere i might not be able to afford a house one day i could afford a condo but like do i really want to say like this is what i what i think humane housing looks like a glass fucking box in the sky <laughs> you said that's not humane <laughs> i honestly like we we we're european like our homes are like in in Serbia like mm-hmm. even the apartments are like fuck, like it doesn't gonna it doesn't feel like it's gonna like it doesn't feel I like mean I think I think north I mean Africa too like but let's let's speak on that too like some people got too much housing how your house the whole block my g like why is your house that big so I think there's there's a, there's a, I don't think it's necessarily about size like I honestly I would love to like a small space I I enjoy that yeah. I don't think it's about size I think it's about the quality of the work and I think it's about um even the construction of it what it looks like i think i mean this is personal so i'm not gonna say like it's yeah. fact but toronto's architecture <laughs> i mean that's what that's that, i mean that's that's can that's we? What, huh can we sure can we call it architecture i mean <laughs> no, that's that's watch- that's what works and this is what it, it might yeah they, it might and, work. and you know architects are i mean i'm in a i'm in that line of work but you don't it's what somebody's going to pay you to do like yeah i want to but again, do we shit. sell ourselves for that? Like, do we do we settle for that? Like, functionality over art. Like, architecture used to be an art. It used to be an art form. Yeah. Like, when you look at these old old buildings and 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 places, like they're they're beautiful. There's like a spirit to them. There's like you you feel different being in those. I don't spaces. know. I like them buildings. I'll be honest with you. I might. I mean, like I said, I guess it's a personal. No, no. I mean, I, I mean, I totally understand where you're coming from. Uh, but I mean, to, I mean, the condos are. I think on the size wise, they could it could be bigger. It definitely can. Just but okay, besides size, okay. Yeah. What about the quality of the work? You ever but walk, they, like they 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 well built for the most part. Really? You think I mean, so? I, I've been to a few. I mean, I don't know. 
The ones I've been through, it doesn't. You don't go in there and hear squeaking do? and shit like that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it's solid. Like I don't think it's good craftsmanship at all. Or I mean, it's it's, de- it's definitely been. You know, it's like the McDonald thing. Like you know, it's it it is built to be built fast and to be built yeah. on the grander scale of things because everything costs money, especially when you're going that high. So and I guess that's my. Question, I'm trying to like, do get. I you know, this? that's why it's only in, a few Toronto, unique buildings. Like, uh, a lot of the housing, a lot of the condos that are going up are taking away affordable housing oh, plots, sure, right? So sure. I think it's also a, ma- a question of that. It's like, like who can afford those? Do things? I want? Do I want? Do I want? <laughs> am I supporting this? Like, why am I supporting this? But then again, uh, I mean, it's a tough choice because then where are you where are you going to live? For some people, they Somewhere don't. Else. A nice old apartment with My some dream brick yeah, but even even top. even those ones are pricey store. like there's nothing yeah but it's no they near are a condo. But that's what i'm yeah. saying it's it's not a question i think just about price i think it's about understanding i mean what you're supporting we're getting fucked that is a fact a hundred percent we just you know we got to fight and um so no more shopping at h&m <laughs> I, like i said i never even really shop at h&m but what about how you feel about forever 21 <laughs> i never i haven't shopped there in a really long time Yo, honestly, <laughs> you're like fuck everybody else. The one place I have a tough time with is Zara, but Zara used to be the thing from back in the you know. I feel like that's where all the black people have made it. That's where we used to go. If you got on Zara, like we like. <laughs> I just like their people. Anything that costs more than the average whatever, we think that this is where we go buy. Yeah. We don't like cheap stuff. We like Balmain, and I don't know how to... I don't even know how these things work. I had a, an idea in my mind. Before we got into the whole H&M stuff, I wanted to ask you guys personally, how did you how did you rate your 2017? How you feel about that? How did you, how did you think it, it went? Anissa, come on, man. We got to get you. Come on, man. <laughs> Anissa's super woke. Yeah, that's really who I want to hear from. <laughs> you You <know? laughs> are... <laughs> Sarah, Sarah out here just rapping this. That's you know what I mean. That's where you get all your ideas from. Let's be clear. But if if you, how was your 20, 2017 How did that go? Twenty seventeen was actually a really big year for me, to be honest. Um, I graduated college. Shout out to you, clap, Could we clap. <laughs> Could we clap? That's big. You, That's huge. You. Congratulations. Um, thank you. I got a job. <laughs> that's right the biggest school. one right out of school you know in her field yeah that's big man it took me um, damn near four years <clears throat> but go ahead you know it was big it was it was just it was all about it's, I feel like it's kind of like a transitional it was a transitional year right so now it's like you went to being uh, next step. money wasn't there now woo okay no no hey no, how no, many no. bottles <laughs> you get in the club you know what I mean you started no I'm just joking okay. but why is it bottle yeah, you're a woman. You wouldn't know what that is. I still is. shop at the dollar I store. I bet you okay. drink bottles every time you go to the club. I don't. People invite you in their booth. You're <laughs> <laughs> right here. See, I hate. I need another guy here to back me up. Because no. the reason why we buy bottles because of y'all sitting no, up no, no, here. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Actually, Anissa, remember last time? Remember? Mm-hmm. Remember what? Remember last time we went out? Yeah. Okay, remember when we were in remember somebody's when we booth. Went to the booth? Remember? Yeah. Where did I go? She went to the dance floor. And where did I go to get my drink? The bar. <laughs> the bar. I, I understand that. I don't feel comfortable. But everybody, drinking. including me, I was in the booth. And like, I, no. I don't even drink, <laughs> so you can't even. Put I'm that sure out he me. looked at me like, "What you doing in here?" I'm, I'm with the group, okay? <laughs> Let me drink and. Pe- but I mean, I'm with the girls. Yeah, I'm, I'm with the yeah, girls. Listen, I'm with this. If I leave, everybody else come with me. You know shout I mean? out to Evie, happy birthday! <laughs> oh, it was a birthday. Oh, shout Turned out to her, up. happy yep. birthday. Yep. Um, <laughs> see, I didn't even know. I was just, you know, what I mean, I was just in there squeezing, but. What about you? <laughs> huh? It wasn't? It was a fake birthday. Oh, see, I got me confused. We went along with it, you know? That was the whole... That, that was I that do was remember. We did fake that. Yeah. How, what about you? Well, we you? didn't even fake it. Like, you know, he, he kind of put it on. Yeah. See, man, we're a sucker. We're, 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 yeah, we're, like, we're, we're okay? suckers when it comes to certain things. And I, and I think everything we do revolves around women, unfortunately. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, 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 no. It revolves around your ego. That's what it, it is. It revolves around you look looking good around other Why, men. Take it in. He he didn't even really try to get with nobody. Like, n- none of the guys. It wasn't to do with, but oh, why, let why me try you... and pick these girls up. They were trying to look good to everybody else. Like, yeah, you're the, the man. You got woman in your booth. You're the guy. 
to other guys. Yeah. You're not the guy to other girls. You're a loser. No, yeah. Like, no, girls are, <laughs> Stop. Girls will look at you like, oh, shit, you got a little girls. game. That is... Nah, 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 They nah, might nah. not tell you that. Like, for me, for example, me, I always get the... I always get that stigma. Yo, I always see you a pretty woman. I say, yeah, I got good conversation. <laughs> That's it. That's all I... But I'm saying, like, to, to some, like... People yeah. give me way more credit than I even look for. It's like, yo, man, like, yo, last time, who's that you post on? I'd be like, yo, relax, B. But, I mean, I, I could really run with that and be like, yeah, you know, I'm out here, you know. But it doesn't... To me, I, I'm just thinking but, yeah, like, yeah, like, why did you not... Whatever. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, you're 2017. How would you rate it from 1 to 10? Um, I don't know. You know... It, you ask me these questions, you want a simple answer. I can never give you a simple answer. You, listen. I, <laughs> come I, on, summarize it. Stop playing. You're a teacher. You got to think quick. When I, don't like to, I, don't like to, I don't like to look at things as good and bad. She doesn't like to simplify anything. It's not that. It's that like I don't think of life that way. Like For me, everything is an evolution. And, and everything is good like because it's all leading to a greater purpose, a greater meaning, a great. I, so I how's the, how's the, how's the stepping stone of it's 2017? It's been good. Like it, I'm trekking. It's it's been good. I what I feel like 2017 was for me. I, I did move away towards the end of 2017 by myself to the desert, <laughs> and I feel like that was um, uh, a significant uh, piece a piece of time, I guess, that reflected growth before. Hand, okay. personal growth and then also kind of got the ball ro- rolling even more in terms of what I need to do to keep that growth moving forward and I think a piece of it is what we were talking about earlier about like finding your truth and living in your truth and being okay by yourself and as right. an individual and who you are and what you stand for <laughs> is it okay? Dang. it's damn sorry so just stay with my the, phone. Yeah, I did, what? and I almost had a heart attack because she got them little expensive iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, his phone. I started sweating. I would have just gave you mine, but um, okay. Sorry, continue. Go ahead. Yeah, no, that's that was 2017 for me. So I think that like some some of the things I take moving forward is that you gotta I don't know d- dig deep into who you are and learn to stand by it and learn to let people go who don't support you and I think that like people who truly love you for you um will support you okay. in, in in will support you when you stand in your truth even if at that time your truth doesn't look great or doesn't feel great you know did you, you do you write down do you do you um cuz I know a lot of people like to say uh they like to write down their goal. I really don't. I personally um uh, I don't write down my goals. All my goals in my head. And I think what I start to do is once let's say for example if I want to buy a house, right? Cuz last year I did. I was able to buy quote unquote my first property whatever for whatever that means anything, but mm-hmm. And I think at the beginning of 2016, I, I, I didn't go in there saying, oh, I'm going to buy me a condo or whatever it was. Yeah. But I, and I think for a long time, what I what works for me, and I'm just sharing it for people listening, is that I start to work around the goal. So knowing that if I ever want to buy a house or a car or whatever it is, like, mm-hmm. understand that your credit got to be number one. Mm-hmm. So your goal should be, like, fix my credit, uh, get a better job if you got a shitty job or whatever it is. Like you start to improve things around Small that things, one yeah. thing that you need, so that at some point in time you will get the opportunity to make a move. Yeah. But you gotta be ready. So most people are like yo, 2018, I want to be married, but you you can't even be in a relationship, bro. <laughs> yeah. But I also think like <laughs> that's that, a fact. That yeah. specific thing though, like goals around marriage and and fam- like kids, I think is a little bit. I don't know. I think it's weird to be honest because yeah. I think that a lot of a lot of times you put yourself in in situations where you are you're settling because you said you wanted this thing and then you you just stick with the thing that's closest to that and you know you think you're supposed to be married by thirty so you marry whoever you with for <laughs> that time. Like I think that's Shit. the reason the divorce rate is so high. Um, but I I like no that's not why I got another theory. But go ahead. I'm a I'm a <laughs> bro- <laughs> go ahead. But I like. Um, no, I had something to say when you were talking about... You said that's why the, the you know, like... 
I guess setting your goals around like marriage and relationship kind of goals. When you're talking about goals around the new year, I had something. Working around things? Something in mind. Oh, no, you were saying you were writing them down. Um, you don't write them down. And yeah. I'm the same way. As somebody had, had recommended, like, well, a lot of people recommend, like, journaling. You know, journaling is like, oh, write everything down. Write down your thoughts. I don't know, man. I, I feel me, like we, we hear these things and we think, I, I've never owned a journal in my life. <laughs> I've never wrote down a single goal in my life. I've never, and you, like, maybe you don't know, but I don't, I'm focused on the work. This is what I do. Like, I want to do this. Here's, I know what it's going to take to get there. Because for me, it's like, it's not a luck thing. It's opportunity and timing. That's all it is. Like, so if you work on your credit. Opportunity means preparation. Preparation. Yeah. Oh, that's what that means? (laughs) No, not, you said opportunity and timing. Did I say the same thing? Yeah, y'all know they, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Opportunity means trying preparation. To They're trying to be star of this show. Okay, y'all want to start your own podcast? <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you. But essentially, you get what I'm trying to say. So it's like, I think we focus too much of what the end will be. Like, we want to get a job that pays us six figures and you still mm-hmm. living out. You've done nothing to even allow you to even dream like that, bro. Like because stay- people don't appreciate the journey. Hard the work. struggle. But how could you when Instagram shows us everything is overnight? Listen, you, you keep going, how could you? How, you be your own. You damn just do. Person. You just how. do. Like figure it out. Like, All right, newsflash, guys. Newsflash. You see why we friends? <laughs> this is why we friends, right? <laughs> because I see something in you guys. We have a friendship that goes beyond that. This is why I'm inviting y'all. Let's come have this little talk and mm-hmm. podcast and shit like that. When we're talking about the general masses, is not there yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you a prime example. When I drop a podcast, I'm always going to use this because whatever. People don't listen to it unless there's a video. So I remember reading the Kevin Hart story. If you listen to that episode, you should know. But anyways, essentially it's mom gave him checks. She hid it in the Bible and she told him, read your Bible. That's how I'm going to help you. Never read the Bible. And he almost got kicked out of his house. But the whole time his mom had the 12 checks in the Bible. So he was like, what the... F-? So essentially, that was the message. So us, we're still at that... I think most people are still at that point like, yo, if, if I can't see a video... Okay, as a teacher, I have to tell you, there are audio learners, there are visual oh, learners, stop, there are stop, kinesthetic stop, learners. Stop, stop. No, that's people facts, just though. Cannot that's facts. Receive How do we all, as a society, become Honestly, audio I'm one of visual? Those, no, no, I'm one of those people. Like, I can listen to you. <clears throat> I have to either write down what you're saying or, like, visualize it as you're speaking to me. To to uh, to retain the information. Is that the I only way you retain people. it? Um, that's, that's probably one of I, many that's ways. That's the way that I retain it best. Okay. Now I but, I okay. do believe again as a, I'm not one of those new age teachers that thinks that like you know we're just gonna learn through play and you just I'm gonna let, send you <laughs> off and you're gonna learn your ABC shots that fire. Way. You on fire today? I'm not. I'm not one of those. <laughs> but I think that like you can train your like you can have a strength like you can be you can be strong kinesthetically. I, I think at the beginning of my education that's that was my strength. I learned by doing. Mm-hmm. I was an athlete. I was a basketball player. That was kind of my thing. Right. But as you grow and if you focus on it you can and if you want it you can strengthen the other ways of learning as well so i'm not saying that like you're just one way right. but some people are predisposed to, to to being able to retain information one way better than so another. answer this then how are we as a society we're talking about like how many okay cool you can say that and i could agree with you mm-hmm. but there's no way that all of us are predisposed the same that's there's impossible no way that you know that all the people that 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 but I'm, I'm, but I'm, but, only want to watch your video. But they say to me, Oh, you should do the video thing. Okay, but that's the few no, but I'm just, too. there's a lot, there's a lot. Okay, but I mean, that's even beside the point. Even like, I don't know, like, we just, I feel like we've gotten lazy. And actually, what are my, uh, what are my goals, if I have any, right, in my head, mm-hmm. is to not to even start reading more because I know I, I need to, because before I used to only read when I travel, which is on the plane. Mm-hmm. I still have a book that I haven't finished and I see it every day sitting there on my... Uh, Can I give you a tip? Please. You put a timer on your phone, five minutes, okay? Turn it on first thing when you wake up in the morning, read for five minutes. Turn it on before you go to sleep, read for five minutes. And oh, then shit. you get in the habit and it grows and it passes by so quick and you f- finish books really quickly that way too. You can start with five, five or five. ten that's or good. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, whatever you feel comfortable a good idea. with, but timer on your phone morning and night. I'm gonna try that. 2018. That's one of my. That's one of my new. I don't want to say goal. 
<laughs> new new year, new, new thing, me. New habit. Honestly, I'm all about habits. What about you? Give me give me one new thing you're gonna do for this year. Start, I'm trying to be <clears throat> start answering your text messages. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Not answering my text messages <laughs> even I think, more. Maybe I think my even phone, getting rid my of phone, my phone might have died. Somebody trying to call me. Can you fix it? Oh, now um, go ahead. As you continue to... I would like to... I would like to... Let me fix this first. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um... I think I would like to be a little bit better with money. Um, I think because I try not to put emphasis on money as like, I don't see, you know, I don't know how to put this simply again, <laughs> but I try not to place too much value on it. Like it's so you, money comes, money comes. You just blowing it. Not blowing it, but I, I can be a little bit too, um, like not thoughtful enough about it. And I mean, I spend a lot of money on other people too. Like, and not that that's a bad thing, but like, <coughs> I think that just, I'm not saying I'm going to start budgeting in some extreme way and being super like strict yeah. with it. Cause I don't believe in that. I don't believe that money should control I really, that I, much mental space. I don't but, budget neither. No. But and like, I'm, and I'm never. A little like, bit smarter, I guess. A little uh, bit smarter. I, for me, I've never, I've never, I was never the budget guy. You also right? don't eat as healthy as I do. Okay. It's expensive. <laughs> Where Every you? little thing you're trying to buy when you're on the road is, is expensive. But you you just made an assumption that I eat out a lot. That's bad of you. How did you figure out that I eat out a lot? <laughs> I know that you... You know what? You're right. I <laughs> there know you that go. you don't <laughs> eat out a lot because you're always on your phone. So you got to be at home or at your desk at work. Unlike me, who's I need, I need you to road, back me up when she makes false something. claims. So then I don't always have time to answer my text messages. <laughs> all right, let's put this in the air, all right? <clears throat> 2018, uh, I need my friend Sarah... To be better, right? We we can just... answering text messages. Can we please take a moment to consider what we are talking the ba- the, about? The background of this story. There's a lot of tension in the air. Okay. <laughs> Don't try to act calm to make me look crazy. Okay. <laughs> How am I trying to? You. This is all you. Uh, we we had to, a I small. To, you're gonna have to disagreement. You're gonna have to separate us. <laughs> You know what I mean? You, you want to, we, we can skip it. I'm cool either way. I'm, I'm no, a professional. No. I mean, listen, we already recorded this part. You can just interject it. No, oh, okay, we'll, we could we'll feed them the video of uh, you. Sorry. Of this conversation about see, can I just note that um, he's on his phone, and that's why that sentence. No, actually, I, the reason why I'm on my phone because I took notes, and I'm trying to remember mm-hmm. what is all the points that I was trying to make. For today's podcast And I right, think We might have gone through Most of I think the most important thing Was H&M We talked about that Yeah um, Setting new goals And things like that I don't write them down Anissa hasn't really She's been Anissa, super Anissa do you write down Your goals? Super no. shy No? What do you do? I don't I don't I don't know I don't do like A new year goals thing Either though Like to me Just you know As I'm evolving And I'm like You know I feel all right, this is what I want to do. This is what's next. You just kind of keep it to yourself. Yeah. What happened? And my goals are also more like personal, like growth goals versus like, I want to get this or buy this or, you know, it's just like I'm trying to work on myself as a person. That makes sense. self improvement I mean, that, I, think, yeah. I think so many times that's so important. I don't know. I think we, once again, as a society, we've, wrap everything around things that we acquire in terms of have, yeah. new cars, new things. And I think so, I, sometimes things is important. The reason why it's important because sometimes it gives you reassurance to start to believe in yourself more. I know for but me, I think- once I bought my condo, it, it wasn't, I didn't, that feeling went away after a week. But I think, now it's like, damn, I really could get shit done on my own. Like, I don't really, yeah. thank and God I-, I ain't need nobody to co-sign me. I ain't go ask nobody for a dime. It was all me. I think that that's nice to feel that way, but I think that we have to ask ourselves, why do we need something like that for that reassurance? I think that there's nothing wrong with that, but I think it's understanding that that's a stepping stone to hopefully getting to a place in life yeah. where you don't need that tangible reassurance to know that you're capable, to know that you're valuable, to know that you're worthy, to know that you're you're good. Because I think that a lot of people 
that's the feelings that's the driver, that yeah. result that, that that result from these types of gains, right? And I think it's exactly what you said. You get the feeling, but within a week, it's gone. Mm-hmm. What up? What up? Yeah. Uh, activated podcast. We had some technical difficulties, but we are back. Uh, sorry. Continue. Um, I was just saying I, I haven't heard from Anissa a lot, but apparently I wasn't giving her the right assist, according to. I was I was telling Ibu the other day that I think that um, well, you I gave think, me a compliment. Please, please, can you retell that story a little now bit? Now you're making me know. <laughs> <laughs> she, I was shocked. I said for real. See, I'm, I am a nice friend. I'm an honest friend. Okay. Do you want force forcefully answer text messages or do you want genuinely answer text messages? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think I think this is just me wishful thinking. Is that you know when you do message somebody at some point. Might not be today. It might not be two days. I mean, forty-eight hours. You got two days to at least respond to acknowledge the previous. I think. I think that's fair. I think it's not like I'm sitting fair. there like five minutes. Yo, yo, what's up? But I. But think, I'm saying that if you were saying that, I would probably be more likely to respond because I would. Feel if I was like, saying what? Like, like annoying you're bugging me. Because I would feel like oh, okay, there's something that needs to be addressed. But I also, I also told you the reason why I don't do that is because. When you date a lot or whatever, when you date people, you cannot date a chick, right? You got to think about in my mentality as a man, it's a different state of mind. Like I cannot but send a weird. message, not get a response and follow. You always get annoyed about that. You talk to me about that from other guys that text you, you do not respond and then they text you again. You have to tell them, yo, relax. We yeah, had that because conversation. They're not guys that I they're they're not my friends. But that, my friends. but but that's what I I'm would s- never be like, why is this guy texting me nonstop? Like no, no, wrong but with him? I, I would be like, why is this guy upset that I'm not answering his text? No, no, I understand. But what I'm saying me. but what I'm saying is, seeing that same mentality kind of thing is you are out of everybody that I text, maybe ten percent are my friends. Yeah. So my mentality is a little switch when it comes to texting. So Yes, like you, maybe I should... But even, for example, when we talk about Tiff, Tiff is a, a mutual friend of ours. Tiff, I'll, even her, I text her once. Mm-hmm. I know Tiff, at some point in time, she will respond. Whether but, okay. that takes her a week, whether that's... And Tiff also sucks at texting, but... But that's... my. At some is, point in time, there's a response. That's that fine, in. but me and Tiff are not the same person. Okay, so we're that not was just an example. the same way. Yeah, that's an example. I'm saying that <laughs> you have... Friends, there's things that your friends come with. Okay, right. Sarah just happens to come with that inconsistency. I'm not consistent at answering text messages. I suck at it. I'm not saying that I'm great at it. I'm not. I'm not. So when you're I'm dating somebody, devaluing. let me ask you this: When you're dating somebody, it hasn't happened in a very long time. I don't know. How is your interaction? Because nowadays, honestly, I don't text. I hate so what do you texting. Do? One of the one of the signs that I'm not going to click with somebody is somebody who's trying to have a conversation with me over text message. But do you, what do you do during the day? Because it won't go anywhere because I won't respond. During the day, you don't respond. I, and No, no, no. Okay, I'm, this is what I'm trying to say. You're asking mm-hmm. me about dating, first of all. Okay, so if I started dating or started talking to somebody and the first, the, the interactions were primarily over text message, I know that that is probably not going to go somewhere because, first mm-hmm. of all, I don't, I don't like to have conversations over text messages. I think it's obvious that I like to go really in-depth about very simple things. So you can't really do that over text message. You can't really get to know somebody over text message. Right. And I don't want to have those conversations. I want to see them. I want to I wanna be able to hold them, touch them, like talk to them, like see their response. Like, so I'm not... Or hear their voice, even if it's on the phone. But I'm, I just, that's just what I prefer. So... For me, even when I was in a relationship, we wouldn't text during the day. Like, if I'm in, cla- I'm in class back then or doing something we're not texting through that time like that's that's my time to do what i need to do then i'm also really excited to see that person at the end of the day to share what happened during my day i'm i'm excited to hear about what happened during their day if it's something where to me i use text messages like i'll be there in 10 minutes or do you want to do something tonight or like really something that you get a quick response from. Like the purpose of sometimes, the text yeah. She sometimes. about to contradict herself, right? Because what I actually was really quick as well. Okay, but you still did not respond. <laughs> but 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 we were talking I'm about a much pulling, I'm just pulling deeper you thing with you than just that text message. No, because I said, are you coming to my sister's dinner? That was no. This is a, this is a problem that me and you have had from longer than just that text. Hey message. man, this is why you keep bringing it up? 
If you say what's up, she's not gonna answer. I probably won't. It's too much. Okay, I mean, I, listen. Say something interesting. I, 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 I understand. <laughs> I understand. Um, and I think, you know, we'll, we'll try to do better. Would this problem yeah. ever go away? Probably not. But, but I appreciate for, that we for can now, have a conversation. I even appreciate that we can have a healthy argument. There's no wrong with that. being disrespected. I appreciate <laughs> What that. am I supposed to say? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. Nah, come on, man. I'm a girl, man. You know better than that. And I'm a professional. <laughs> no, I'm just saying I appreciate that. We. I appreciate, I think it's a sign of a good friendship that you can bring up an issue that you mm-hmm. have and but I don't think that necessarily a good friendship means that like you bring up an issue and I say okay my bad I'll never do it again because that's not true I'm not I'm not gonna say something that I know is going to happen again so right. that's what's frustrating you because you want me to be like I hear you I'm gonna do better but I won't do better I know myself I just won't do better so it's one of those things where it's like you so you're not willing you're that. not you're not willing to change you're t- essentially what that no, says I'm not to willing me to is change that that's not important to me I do me, fuck you. Okay, that's fine. In in some regard, yeah, but I also believe, <laughs> I also believe that that's a really important attitude to have as as a person, as a human being. I would hope that you would have the same attitude. I would hope that Anissa would have the same attitude. I mean, I'm, I'm on things that you don't I'm see as important. Yeah, yeah, I mean, because again, have I ever? I mean, I don't know if we've had enough moments like this, but like to me, it's like if again. If I wasn't there for you when you really needed me, fuck, that's a big thing. Like that's something that we need to talk about. That's something that I need but to address. But that also well, did, was I disloyal to you? Okay, that's something that we gotta address. But did is, I disrespect you? That's something that we gotta address. But answering text messages, as I said, especially because I I offered an alternative. I said it's not if I don't if it, if I don't answer your text, you can call me, and I most likely ninety nine percent of the time will answer the call, even if just to say I'll call you back. Here's here's my final say on the matter. Go ahead. I understand that. But saying that you're not disloyal and things is it's very subjective because I think it's how somebody feels about an action. Because I could do something for to her, the sh- Anissa won't care, mm-hmm. but you might feel offended. So I think when we're trying to like say, oh, you know what? It's I could do I could lack on this because No, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say I need to be me. Now you as my friend have the we have had the conversation. Now, yeah. you get to decide, am I okay with this or am I not okay with this? <laughs> I'm serious. Like, that's, that's you what guys are witnessing an uh, end of a friendship live on the podcast. Where oh else would y'all God. get this kind of content? I used no, to think listen, like you, though, because like, I have a friend that doesn't answer either. No, listen, I'm not. Listen, for me, for me, is that... Can we just note that he interrupted any second? <laughs> you interrupted me. I was trying to make a point. You came in. You, I, I was trying to leave a final... Here's my final thought. You're going to do you. I'm going to do me. But I think, you know, I used to think it's it was always about me in a sense. Because I used to always tell people. I remember, like, this is where I was in two weeks relationship. You don't like the way I smile? Fuck out of it. Like, you know what I mean? What the? No, no, I'm just saying. Mm. Here's, here, let me make my point. Then you I can... hope that you would say that if somebody says they don't like the way you smile. I hope no, you I'm tell saying, them to fuck No, I'm just saying, like, it didn't. What I what I feel is something is powerful is saying is acknowledge number one, you you still not acknowledge whether or not it's a fault. You're okay, saying Anissa, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Anissa because see, he's not, not he's, me not, he's not, not hearing me. I'm not gonna let you finish because I know where you're going with this. Anissa, yeah. did I not tell Ibu? I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna tell them. Word for word, this is what I said. Ibu, I get how you're feeling. Mm-hmm. Me not answering your text messages is not a reflection of how I feel about you as my friend. I love you. I value you as my friend. I want you in my life. Okay. Me not answering your text messages is not a reflection of how I feel. Call me instead. All right, let, let me respond to that. Hey, uh, what, what example did I give earlier? Oh, uh, you don't like, you're married. You don't like pepper in your in your food. But that's not the same. And the See, reason she... I said that that's not the same is because you need food to live. You don't need text messages to live. You're very passionate about this, but in the same time, you're you're so stuck in your ways, you're not even letting me finish. But that's who I am. 
So we got to deal with it. No, no, no. But you know what? This is, not, this is not an accurate representation of the conversation that we had because we have had this conversation many times. And I did let him finish. She and kept throwing shots. So not, I figured, I figured we clear The reason I'm not letting him finish right now air. is because he keeps going back to the same points that make me believe that he was not listening to what I initially had said because I've responded to all these points already. Yeah, but people don't know what you responded to. I was just trying to clarify. You know what I mean? But anyways, that's beside the point because we got sidetracked. By our own personal issues, <laughs> um, but I wanna I wanna close it off by saying uh, once again thanks for coming both of y'all. Anissa super quiet. Come on, Anissa, come on. You keep cutting her off, man. Let her speak. Uh, <laughs> cutting Anissa, who I off? Know, keep looking. I think I'm like, <laughs> like, like Anissa is actually one of my super woke <laughs> friend, newly acquired friend. Thanks to Sarah. So shout out to y'all. You're welcome. Uh, we will have another one um, coming up soon. But this is just kind of like to really tell y'all how I feel about this new year kind of thing. And I hope y'all was able to get the message. Um, I know it's shout out to Harold and shout out to Alvid because y'all been hitting me up like crazy. Like, what's up, bro? We ain't get the new episode, Joe. It's coming. So hopefully you guys get to enjoy the little bit of this conversation minus the argument that we had no it was an argument it's a healthy discussion it's a, you see when you got two passionate people in the same room these are the kind of things that happen and I hope for 2018 y'all stop being fake with your own friends and y'all really tell them how you feel tell them how you straight up but don't expect things to go your way <laughs> <laughs> see, you're so contradicted to how tell is that me, contradictory and he said, hold on, is that hold contradictory on. tell me how you feel but I still don't care how you feel. No, but no, no. But that's the thing. That that's okay, okay. that's a part of no, no. This is an important. This is an important thing. <laughs> Listen, we're this not gonna go back thing. and forth. No, no, no. But it's an important thing. We can talk about this friendship wise, relationship wise. We can talk about this you, after. Can we? Can we? We can talk about this after. Okay. See, I'm trying to help her. She just want to act a fool today. Hope. What's up? No, I'm not. I actually. Um, anything. Really you know what? I'm asking Lisa. Anything that, anything that you on your mind that you want to get off before we get off. Why are you putting her in the spot? That's what we're talking about. You're putting her in the spot. Let her speak what she wants to speak. Don't talk over her. Don't put her in the spot. <laughs> <laughs> she was joking, by the way. Right? You're joking. <laughs> I want people to now they start thinking you're, you know. I'm what? Oh, man. We're going to save that for another podcast. We're supposed to do another one. So if you, if you appreciate the, the lady that came in with me, uh, how does these young men slide in your DMs? What's, what's your... What's your Instagram? I don't give mine up. Nah. Why not? I'm going to tag them. Y'all can get it. I, you, what's my phone? I'm about to I'm gonna put it out there anyways. But anyways, thank you once again. Um, we would nothing like to have a good? conversation about relationships next time. And that's where I was going to segue towards uh, a topic yeah, so you that guys, I felt like was important that I was going to remind you. You should maybe write down. I'll be honest with you. This is how I feel the relationship thing is... You know what? We're going to save it. I, we, we will have a podcast, a dialogue about relationship, why men cheat and all that good stuff. Yeah. Because that's really most of y'all, that's all y'all want to hear. Women why my too. man still cheating? But anyways. Um, Women cheat too. Really? Yeah. Have you ever cheated? No? No. Mm. But men get cheated on this. All right. Activated podcast. You heard it first. We'll save it for next time. But um, if you've been listening, thanks again. This is The Activated Podcast and you've officially been activated. Peace. <laughs>